It's a little rainy out today, so we thought we'd try and put a light kit on our uh, 2004 precedent. And uh, I just thought I'd go through and show you exactly how we put the tail lights in. So we bought this kit online, and uh, it's pretty simple to install. The instructions, this is the tail light, we're going to mount it. It goes just like that on the back here. Uh, the instructions call for a two and a half, excuse me, you know, I've got two and a quarter inches measurement from this body line. It's not real critical, but we'll use a, a steel rule and we'll put a vertical line there. And then we have to measure up an inch and a half from the, they call it the underbody, but what that really means is, is this thing here, inch and a half. So we put a mark there, so we have a crosshair there. Just double check, two and a quarter and one and a half. Two and a quarter, one and a half. And then we're going to take a hole saw. Now the instructions call for an inch and a half hole saw. That was a little overkill for me. I used an inch and three eighths. Now uh, I just put it on my drill here and I put it right in the center of those crosshairs. And get the pilot started. Now you don't have to get crazy with this, but you, you don't want to be afraid of it either. So just drill, you get into the plastic. It's pretty thin, it'll go through quickly. And you just take that plug out of there. And you'll see there's an, an inner piece here. And if you zoom in on this, you can see that there's just a little lip there, and that's why we measured up. It just went over that. And then the other reason for that hole being there is this wire comes out, and there's a extruded piece here that protrudes into this opening. So the next thing to do is find the wires. Now luckily for us, the 04 precedents have the wiring already back here. We just have to find it. So I took a coat hanger and bent a little hook at the end and a flashlight. And we'll see if we can't find that wire and pull it right out. And it takes a it's a little tricky. But now these wires are in a in a white convoluted tubing. They're kind of up in there and it's going to take you a few tries to find them. And once you see them, try and hook them. And I've, I've got it hooked. Now the next part of the, the problem is to, to get it to come back where you need it. So it's a little ticklish, but once you get there, you'll find that the connector and everything that you need is already on the wiring. And uh, again, it's a little ticklish getting it through there. But there you go, I found the wire. Now the next part is pretty important because if you don't do this properly, the, uh, the tail light won't stay in place and you'll be disappointed with the installation. So the next part of the step is to make sure we have this whole area real clean. So they give us an alcohol wipe. Wipe that down really good. And that allows the uh, 3M adhesive that's included in the kit to really stick on our plastic. We need to make sure that's really good and clean. If you don't have an alcohol wipe, you can use a a little rubbing alcohol or some isopropyl alcohol on a, on a paper towel or a clean soft rag. Get that nice and clean. And it'll dry quickly. And then the next step is to uh, prepare the, the actual lamp itself. Now if I hold this up here I can see that it, it's going to go right about like this. Now the space I've already done on the other side. I want to make sure that I don't come over this this radius on the body panel because then I'll have a sharp edge sticking out. So I'm going to put it so it's just a little past that radius point. Now, to prepare the 3M adhesive, you don't want to peel it all off at once and try and place it. You won't be happy with the installation. So what you need to do is you find this corner and you pull off this protective blue protective covering and just fold it back so you've got a little tail there, a little ear. And then same here, like that. And then you install the connectors and they'll snap into place. They're kind of 
difficult. Now just tuck that up neatly up inside there. The whole wiring. Now, when we get to this point, I want to kind of line up where I want this to sit. Got to make sure it's down firmly against this uh, bottom black portion as well. And I'm going to roll it up into place where I want it. Push firmly on it. Hold it in place. Is that where I want it? I think that is just about right. And then you pull the tails off. Don't move the light because that's where it's going to stay. Once you get the top tail pulled off, push down on that. Then you can come to this bottom tail and do the same thing. And then just go around it, pushing firmly all the way around to secure that 3M adhesive. Once it's on there, it'll stay for a long time and give a nice neat job. So there we go, our tail light's installed. Now I'm just gonna reach up here and turn the light switch on and see if it works. I guess I probably should have done that before I glued it on there, but. So there we have it. Functional tail light, easy installation. Just takes a few minutes, just take your time. Make sure you have the tools you need ahead of time. And good luck, we'll show you some more things uh, next time. So that's the installation of our uh, taillight assembly on our Club Car President. Uh, check back soon for uh, updates on, on other installation techniques for our Club Car President. Thanks for watching. I'm Randy Wade for DigitalOverdriveSystems.com.